Hi everyone, it's Lisa from Girl in Garage. Welcome to my channel. Especially welcome if you're new. Hi to all my subscribers. Hope you guys are all doing well. I'm doing well. So today we're doing the Halloween candle stick. No. Come on. I better tell you what it is. <laughs> the correct name. It's the Honey Handy Halloween theme. Do it yourself. Candle silicon mold. So basically it's like a witch's hand with a um, crystal ball. So what I've done, I've painted it with um, chameleon powders. So I did that off camera because it took me a long time and we all know probably, pretty sure we all know how to um, brush on chameleon powder. So I'm going to pour some black resin into it, as you do. And once we demold it, I'm going to do something a little bit different. And I know I probably haven't got all the areas covered because it is so detailed and it's so hard to get into all the little nooks and crannies when you brush on your mica powder. So I have made up, um, well it says on my cup, to just over 250 mils, but I did 300 grams and that is, it looks like it's about 9 ounces and I'm using my 2 to 1 deep pour. Well I have to because this is quite a deep mould anyway, but most of you know that I love my deep pour and I use it for most things because it tends to be bubble free. So I don't know if I've made up enough. Um, we'll just have to wait and see. So I'm just going to pour it slowly. I don't tend to pour it onto my stick because I actually reckon that causes more bubbles. I'm just going to pour that little bit in for a minute. I'm just going to give it a light spray. You don't tend to give it a spray once you've um, brushed on your, your powder. But as long as I don't go too heavy with it, I should be okay. I'm just going to give it a bit of a squeeze. All these bubbles should rise anyway. A shocker. Should remember to hold on to my stick. I'll get it out of my cup. Wow. <laughs> Could have been worse, though. It could have been worse. Nearly made up enough, didn't I? So I shall make a little bit more of 
up and I'll do that off camera and then I'll be back for the exciting demolding part and then I'll explain or sh and show you what I'm going to do which will be something that, yeah as I said a little bit different because I hate doing things the same as everyone else all right guys I'll see you back shortly it's cured now I'm sure this is going to be a little bit hit and miss with my brushed on chameleon powders but we're not finished yet so let's see how I went because it wasn't real easy to paint all the insides and I didn't turn it inside out and I've never done this one before so I'm not real sure if I painted the right areas or not and I think we're going to need some alcohol because it's got really good suction Sorry guys, got to use the body for this one. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, here it comes. Hopefully it doesn't go flying across the room. Oh, we're out. Woo. Wow. Are you ready? Oh, I've got heaps of bubbles, which is a disappointment. We can fix it. Okay, ready? Here we go. So I didn't do too bad with the powder. All right, time to jazz this baby up. Now, do I tell you what we're doing or do I keep you guessing? <laughs> All right, I'm going to pop you on pause and just get a few things together. Okay, so I have done my two coats. Pretty sure it's tacky now. If I've missed any spots, we can just reapply. So yeah, basically, I haven't got the best quality holographic glitter, but this will do. Um, I'm sure you know the more name brand ones would um, work a lot better. But anywho, it is what it is. Um, yeah, so we're just going to pour some on. Oh, doesn't matter if it's too much because we'll just collect all our excess. so we couldn't just do something you know pour our mold and just pull it out that's just it wasn't going to happen I think this is going to look pretty amazing but when it's 
finished. Well, my vision looks amazing. <laughs> so hopefully we'll get that vision happening. Looking forward to the autumn craft club, which is on in a few more days. But I don't think I'll have this video out by then. But yeah, so first major club. I'm so excited. Hopefully you guys will like my video too. And hopefully anyone that hasn't subscribed will subscribe to my channel. That would be just awesome. <laughs> So yeah, this is the fun part. I love doing this. So we're just going to basically rub it right in and get that awesome holographic look. Now, let's see if we can get it in our little jar without making major mess Lisa. <laughs> Not too bad. Although I'm sure I'll be picking this glitter up out of the studio for the next 12 years. <laughs> uh, I love glitter. All right, let's get this show on the road. So yeah, I recommend doing this with gloves on. Basically, we're just going to rub it in. And you get that awesome holographic look. So hopefully you can see that. Let's see what's happening. How cool is that? And yeah, basically that's how we're going to do um, a lot of the other things. So we're going to do the nails. We're going to do all the rings. And I think I'll add some, you know, like the gold leaf flakes, gold leaf sheets, I should say. Yeah, got them in different colours, so I'll add some of that, which look good. And then we'll get on to all this, which I've got a few different ideas too. And yeah, lots of bubbles. I generally don't get too many with the resin that I use. But it's expected with all these sort of raised parts, no matter what you use. Okay, so just discovered I've got it. I'm not sure if you can see that. I've got like a little bald spot. Um, so yeah, the glue just wasn't set. It's all right, we can re redo that. So I'll just leave that spot alone for a bit. And then once I've got all this rubbed in, blow some of the excess away, preferably not in my studio, I'll take it outside, <laughs> clean up the excess glitter. But yeah, so basically that's what we're doing. See that cool effect? How awesome does that look? So much better. Looks like a crystal wall now, I think, I hope. All right, guys, I shall go off camera and I'll be back shortly. So I'm back. Look what I've done, guys. 
can you see? I, I took the last lot of glitter off. <laughs> I got a mark in it and then I tried to fix it and then it just looked terrible. So I took the whole lot off and just wiped, wiped it off with alcohol and had to do a bit of scraping. But I also started doing the fingernails and the rings and all that. And I thought I was recording, so I do apologise. So I put some purple around the bottom. It's still not finished yet. Still some things to do. I've got to fix up the nail polish because it started to come off when I was getting this bit off. But it's tacky and ready to go. But I thought I'd do this holographic glitter. It looks blue in here for some reason, but it's a really nice mint green. And yeah, it's just a better glitter. Um, the effect shows up better, so that's what I'm doing. So yeah, same again, just basically pour it on, then we just rub it in. So hopefully I've got glue everywhere. So I think that's what happened with my silver. There was um like a patch that I must have missed when I was painting my glue on. And um yeah, when I tried to add more glitter it just it looked crappy. I just started another video before and totally buggered it up because I'm so tired. I just went, oh my god, that was pathetic. <laughs> Delete. <laughs> so yeah, having a shocker. So hopefully it won't be too much green, seeing that Witch's hands are green. I don't know. I just like this glitter better than the other one. So it looks like you use a lot of glitter with this technique, but you don't because you're catching all your excess and you can pop it back in your jar. Just making sure I've got everything coated really well. So yeah, it helps if you do whatever you're going to add glitter to. Basically the same colour as your glitter, just in case you do miss a few spots. But I've done this before. I covered a jar. It was purple and I put the green on it. And um, you can't see the purple underneath. So it's got to make sure that you, yeah, put your glue everywhere and...
So hopefully I do a better job this time. And I think, yeah, I put too much water in my glue last time. But yeah, that's how I did um, the rings and the fingernails. I just put my glue down, but I used the, the uh, foil leaf. Yeah. So I've got a lot more of that to do, yep. Okay, let's see if I can get this back in here without splitting it all, which Lisa likes to do, especially when she's tired. Pop our lid on before we knock that over. All right. Let's get rubbing. Can you see that? See the effect? It's pretty. I will have a fair bit of clean up to do around the edges, get the excess glitter off, clean all that off and then I'll paint my fingernails with the glue and we'll touch them up. Hey, look at that, isn't that pretty? I don't know, I just thought the silver was a bit boring. <laughs> Needed some more colour for a little witch. So yeah, originally I think this is a, a candle mould. So this bit would be your candle, which would look cool. Something I haven't done is candle making, but I've always been interested in it. I just... I suppose you can't do everything. I'm shocking when after I left work, I just wanted to do everything. <laughs> I went crazy because I absolutely love it and have hadn't been able to do any art or craft for years. Too busy raising a family and working. So yeah, maybe one day do some candles. Looks like lots of fun. Anything like that's fun, fun to me. Doesn't matter what it is. All right. Well, I am going to go and do some gluing, and then I shall see you back here. <laughs> see you soon. 
so it's done are you ready to see I've got it covered up so that it's a bit of a surprise because I didn't actually record what I was doing because it would have taken way too long it's taken me ages to do this so I've embellished it all by adding um, my tacket glue and then my gold and multicolored gold flaky stuff so are you ready to see here we go Ta -da! so here it is bring my bit so hopefully you can see all that so yeah what do you think So I basically embellished it all except for the witch's hand. So I left that um, just with the chameleon powder. And yeah, I think it's turned out awesome. Just something a little bit different than just pouring it with straight resin. Just thought I'd better bling it up a little bit because we can't be the same as everyone else. So yeah, let me know in the comments what you think. And I've got another one of these coming up, but it's going to be totally different. So stay tuned for that for part two of my which which was wickeder. Yeah. So yeah, please um give my video a like, and if you haven't subscribed, please consider it. And I'll have photos to come. And yeah, this little witch's hand will also be available for sale on my website. And if you wanted this um, mould, it's available um, through BB Craft. And I've got a link in my description box and discount code. So yeah, go and check out the description box. And yeah, if you're interested in reviewing any of um, BB Craft's molds or any of their craft item or items or jewelry items um, there's so much on their website and um, there's a link for their youtube program in the uh, description box so yeah go and check it out and um, thanks heaps for watching everyone thanks to my wonderful subscribers as always love you guys and um, yeah i'll see you for the next one all right bye for now <laughs>